Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. This is Game My Alliance. Today we are going to introduce you to the new game, Sin City. Sin City is a mafia-themed metaverse action-adventure role-playing game in which the users acquire, manage, trade, and expand members of their syndicate. The community of Sin City is very popular right now and pretty active. Its transaction volume on Binance NFT market has been number one since it launched its own NFTs on the platform a month ago. The current floor price is $800, and the total transaction volume exceeds $18.6 million. The game has not been launched officially yet. According to the plan in the roadmap, the team will launch the game module at the end of this month. The latest update of Sin City is Copper Launch Auction. The auction will end on the 24th, and the team will airdrop NFT rewards to the top 200 players according to the number of SYNR token they hold. GMA also participated in the copper launch auction. The token unlock period is relatively friendly. The tokens will be unlocked after the launch event, and the seed round and private rounds will be vested on a quarterly basis over 36 months. Since the game has not been launched officially, there is no detailed description on the DeFi sector. The video will mainly introduce SimCity from the current development progress, tokenomics, and gameplay. There are four project highlights. First of all, the design of SimCity doll and treasury and MAD is worth paying attention. The team has a clear plan for doll. Players can stake SYN token to generate SYN power and delegate that to the syndicate leader. And the top seven syndicate leaders with the most SYN power will join the committee to manage the DAW. For now, the DAW management model seems relatively reliable. Members' responsibilities and obligations are set and clear. And the players are encouraged to invest in the game more and more gradually. MAD's same power is similar to Curve and Convex. It encourages players to stick to drive the wells to reduce sync liquidity. Second, the game is planned to be launched relatively early, which has some first mover advantage. And the project's predecessor, Criminal Empires, has already had a soft launch. Third, the team background, partners, and VC resources are solid. The investors include Animalka, YGG, Guildfi, Merge Circle. Fourth, judging from the released pictures, the game is very playable and currently very popular. It has a decent amount of followers on Discord, Telegram, and Twitter. There are also some risk aspects. First of all, the team and the VCs have taken a great amount of tokens, thus the project is more centralized. Second, the in-game economic model is complicated and it requires large investment in staking the tokens and a longer time commitment. Third, the nature and design of Sin City's syndicates and business operations have high operating costs for players with larger capital. There are some ways to participate. The governance token of the game is SYN with a total supply of 10 billion it's not launched yet. Players can participate in SimCity by DeFi, NFT mining, and GameFi. First, players can stake Sin to generate Sin power. Currently, there's no detailed instructions released. DeFi sector will probably be launched the second quarter of this year. Next, currently the team has launched the same pass and character NFT. The table on the screen shows the utilization and price of NFT on the secondary market. The floor price of same pass on OpenSea is around 5.7 ETH, and the floor price of Blueprint is around 750 USDT. Then there is GameFi sector. The game have free-to-play and play-to-earn sectors, and there are PvE and PvP modes. For now, the team has released some in-game pictures. All in all, for players with large capital and guilds, they can stake SIN to get SIN power to participate in committee elections and governance. Also, since the number of syndicates and members is unlimited, they can generate revenue through running business in the game and MAAD taxation. 
For normal players, they can obtain resources from PvE and PvP modes and their other events to participate in the guild in order to get some dividends. If you want to participate, we've mentioned some highlights and noteworthy points of the project for reference. You can also choose to hold some NFTs and tokens if possible. We will continuously pay attention to the project roadmap and progress to see if the team is capable to deliver on time. We will also test the game when the official game launches in the first quarter of the year and the DeFi and Guild sectors launch in the second quarter of this year. Thanks for watching today's video. For more information, please follow us on social media.